Now that we have added the generic base repository, we are going to use that file to easily add and configure the producer's service. So, let us go to Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, let us go to the Solution Explorer and then in here go to the Services folder. In here, let us first add an interface. So, new item, select the interface. And this is going to be the interface for the producer service. So I'm going to name this interface I producers service and then click the add button. Now in here let us change it to be public. So public interface I producer service. Then this is going to inherit from the base interface repository. So I entity base repository. Let us import the namespace and the namespace is etickets.data.base and the parameter is going to be the producer model. So let us import the producer model and that belongs to the etickets.models. And now here we see that we get an error. So let us just go to the producer, right click, then go to definition. And then in the producer, we are going to inherit from the I entity base. Let us import the namespace. The namespace is data.base. And now if you go back to the iProducers service, you can see that the error is gone. Let us go to the Solution Explorer. And here now we are going to add the actual service. So just right click, then go to add a class. We are going to name this class the producers service. So producers service. And then click the add button. Now here we are going to first inherit from the entity base repository, so entity base repository. Let us import the namespace, so data.base, and then pass as a parameter the producer model, and then import the namespace for the producer as well. And then here we are going to also inherit from the I producers service interface. Then inside this class, let us inject the FTP context and then pass the FTP context to the base class, which in this case is the entity base repository. So CTR, double tap, and then in here, AppDB context, just context, and then column, base, context. And this is all you need to do in the producer's service. Now, to complete the whole flow, let us just go to the Solution Explorer one last time. And then in here, scroll down to the startup.cs and go to the startup.cs. Then scroll to the configure services method. And here we have the services configuration section. And here we are going to also add now the producers service. So services.add scoped. Then I producers service and then producers service. Now, if you wanna check if everything worked as expected, you can simply go to the Solution Explorer and then scroll up to the producers controller. And then in here, instead of injecting the FDB context, now you can inject the I producers service. So I producers service, and this is going to be just the service. Import the namespace for the iProducer service, and that is the data.services. Then copy this part, paste it in here. Remove the underscore, and then set the underscore service to be equal to the service. And then inside the index method, instead of using the context, we are now going to use the service, which in this case is the producer service dot get all async method. Let us run Visual Studio to see if everything worked as expected. So here let us go to management, then producers, and you can see that we get all producers.